Hi, it's Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas. And once again, you are not watching a live video. You are watching a pre-recorded video. Because at this very moment, I am at On Stage Live. I can't wait to share with you all the exciting new things I learn and that are coming. But for today, we are going to create this Christmas card using the Making Christmas Bright stamp set. And I do want to remind you that there is an exclusive stamp set available from Stampin' Up! Dur or it's not just a stamp set, it's a whole showcase. The Snowflake Showcase, available from Stampin' Up! through November, as long as supplies last. And there are two stamp sets and thinlets and some velvet paper and snowflake trinkets. So if you want to make sure you get your hands on that, you can order it through my store at angelstamps.stampinup.net. Or if you want to take a chance and wait till I get back next week, I can help you place your order. But let's get started. First thing we did is um, I went ahead and cut this piece of cherry cobbler cardstock. It's hot dog style, which makes it four and a quarter by eleven. And I am going to fold it. And we're going to make a card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have a three by three inch square of the All is Bright Designer Series paper. And I forgot a couple of things, so hang on while I get them. All right, so we are going to glue the All is Bright paper onto our cardstock. To make the Christmas tree kind of looking image. It's Christmas tree paper. And then we are going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment up at the corner. And I am using, you will see why in a minute, I'm using the sentiment that says, May Your Christmas Be. Put it right up in the corner. I was worried there for a second I stamped it upside down, but I didn't. Then I will take the scrub. That is not my phone this time. Then we are going to start building the light bulbs. And 
Um, today we will be using this Stamparatus. And I will show you how we um, use the Stamparatus with the a Builder Punch. And thank you, Mary, for teaching us this at Hearts of Oz. You can see I have already stamped out an image using this Builder Punch image. And I am going to set it down right there for now. And then I am going to put the stamps inside of it and the stamp apparatus will pick them up and then you'll get a perfect image of what you need. I have already somehow lost my little light bulb um, base. Huh. I'll move some things around here. There it is. Okay. So there's the light bulb base. And I need, I'm going to need all of these word light bulbs, so we'll just, one at a time, put them in there. Okay, and then close the apparatus to pick that up. And then we're going to ink up the base. And shaded spruce. And we're going to ink up the bulb in Daffodil Delight. Okay. And we're going to move this for a second. And there we have it, ready to go. And then I will go ahead and clean that off. and move it dropping everything because we're going to do some other words and so I will set my light bulb base in there Now, if I wasn't changing the bulb, I wouldn't have to reposition them every time. I could just stamp hinge step, but I am changing the bulb. So to be safe, we're going to reposition every single time. And this is going to be simpler. You will see the magic when it's time to punch them out. Okay, and our last one. I'm going to put it right in between them and put the base and 
And where did I already lose my bulb? I'm so good at that. Oh, here it is. That's the problem with these clear um, stamps. When you set them down, you can't always see where they went. And I'll set that aside so I can use it on a different project. And I'm going to ink up my base. And ink up my bulb. And here we go. I don't think that bulb got quite enough yet. So here we go again. Little bit of green in that yellow. That's silly. All right. I will clean those up and then you will see the magic. Remove the stamparatus because we're done with that. And here comes the light bulb builder punch. And as you can see, it lines up perfectly. No, I say that and I'm like, oh, can you see? And we just punch it out. That one got a little crooked, but I think it'll be fine. All right, put that aside. Get out my glue. And we will start gluing the bases on the bulbs. A drop of liquid glue. Right there. Hold it for a second. Maybe a little longer than a second. Okay, and we do that for all three bulbs. And if you want to fussy cut off the edges, um, you are welcome to do that. I am not choosing to fussy cut today. Mostly because my scissors are already packed in my soupies. All right. Now we're going to finish the interior of the card. I have cut my a couple of my strips of designer series paper that were left from the front into half inch by four inch strips. And so we're going to glue one at the top and one at the bottom. I guess it's more like half inch by three inch strips. We have one more thing to stamp and then we'll just put the card together.
I will be stamping the string to hang some lights on. There we go. We're done with the ink, so I'll close it up so we don't get it on anything accidentally. Put my stamp away so I don't lose it in this mess of a desk. And then going to start putting the card together. Suddenly, I can't even find my card. Oh, it fell on the floor. So we have the front of the card, which says, May Your Christmas Be. And I'm going to grab the light bulb that says Mary and we're going to attach it with a dimensional over here to the edge of our tree and then we are just going to use the glue and attach and right light bulbs to the inside of the card. So I will be attaching the end, and then we'll put glue on the back of bright. Attaching bright to that. And then we'll be gluing the card interior to the inside. So here we have our card for today. There is the outside. May your Christmas be merry and bright. I hope you enjoyed that. Come back next week and we will be using this Christmas set, Making Christmas Bright, to make a card that does not necessarily have to be used for Christmas. Bye, guys.